Hey everybody, time for a video. Um, not an Emacs video, this is a GitHub video. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was how you can use GitHub issues to communicate with your students. Um, I wrote a post uh, talking about this about a week ago and I thought I would dive a little deeper and it would be a little clearer to actually show it rather than just talking about it. So as, um, as some of you know, I use GitHub for a lot of things with my students. So for example, my typical class webpage is just a GitHub uh, site, a GitHub repo. Um, I don't even use GitHub pages for this, which lets you just do a full website. Um, rather, I just do, um, you know, it's just a repo with my readme file, and then the readme file is rendered, and um, I'm using org mode uh, markdown, but you could use regular markdown as well, so I can do tables in here, I can put links in here, um, you know, various links, etc. And what I also do is I always make a class code um, folder, and then in there, I put all of the um, all of the code that we create in class, so students can just pull all of that. Um, so I also use GitHub Classroom extensively um, for all of my assignments. And so um, you can use the issues feature for GitHub to communicate with your students for you know for assignments and also in general. But let's start with assignments. So um, I have this little assignment demo file, and what it is is whenever I make an assignment, I start with um, a template repo, and you'll notice somewhere here it says template. And template you can just get by just clicking on settings and just click on this template here, and that, that lets you use it as a template for GitHub Classroom. So you can put whatever code you put into it, will then be the starter code. Um, so let, let's just do this from here. Let's make a new file called starter code. Um, and we'll say, you know, um, you know starter code.org. And we'll be like, uh, this is the starter code for the assignment. And we'll just it, you know, we'll use its, um, its little sample. We'll, we'll create it, make that little commit. And then we have, you know, our starter code if we click on it is there. Um, however, um, what I'll also do is in the readme file, I'll put all of the instructions. Um, and in fact, I can show you, why don't, why don't I show you, we'll come here, we'll just go to GitHub. Can't type. So if we just go to GitHub again and we look for um, any of these templates, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this is um, a homework template, and I'll have them put their name here, their GitHub username, and then I'll give the actual assignment in there along with, well, there was no starter code here, um, but that, well, it was assignment one. Um, but um, later on, there's going to be more starter code. So anyway, once I've created that, I go to GitHub Classroom, I've chosen my classroom, and I'll create a new assignment. It'll be an individual assignment, and we'll call it Issue Demo. Um, can be public or private. Let's make it public. Uh, make it private. Doesn't matter. Um, and our starter code will be um, issue demo assignment. I have another repo called issue demo, and um, I will now make my assignment. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab the URL, and what I did here is I opened this. Um, this uh, private window here. And the reason I did that is so that way I could use a different GitHub account. And so my regular GitHub account, oops, I'm probably typing the password. Uh, my regular GitHub account is associated with my Gmail account um, and also with my Hunter account, but I have another Hunter account, um, huntersoe.org um, and that's what I'm going to use to accept, accept this assignment here. It's kind of hard to show student-teacher interaction if I'm using the same account for both. So I'm going to now accept, go to that link where I'm going to accept the, um, the invitation. I'm going to accept the assignment. And now I'm going to go to the repo. So now I'm here, I'm on this repo. Um, and if I click on watch, it says I'm not watching this yet. So the only thing I have to do is I have to switch this to watching. Uh, that, that's somewhat important. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clone the assignment, copy that over. And what I'm going to do is I need to open up a terminal. Let me drag that onto the screen up here. And 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH to Z at localhost. And so now I'm logged in as a different account, Z, as opposed to Zemansky. And now I have issue demo. So I'm going to go into issue demo, issue demo and I've got my starter code, I've got whatever, but let's say I'm going to create a new file. And so let's Emacs new file and line one, line two, line three. Actually, let's just do, let's do a little macro. Can't type. Okay, um, so anyway, um, we're just gonna have that. We'll save it. We'll get add new file. We'll get commit new file with a message of added new file and we will get push. So now if we go to our private repo over here, um, not a private repo, our private window with the Zaman scam account, my Hunter SOE account, I have it here. But if I go here back to the classroom and I reload the classroom page, we'll see that Zaman scam, that account has committed and I'm going to view that repository. And you'll notice that I'm already watching it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to now want to send some feedback to the students. So I'm going to, I can do this through issues, which I'll show you in a bit. But I can also be like, well, let's look at, you know, these, these lines look a little funky to me. So I'm going to click on this one. Ah. Click from here. Ah, I, I know, I'm hitting the wrong thing here. Shift. There we go. And I can click on this and say, hey, let's make an issue with this. And I'm like, these lines, oh, okay, these lines look wonky. And I can even label these, well, we won't label them right now, but let's submit a new issue. So all of a sudden, well, that's from the Washington Post. That's not particularly interesting. Um, and this is from the initial import that was uh that was that was the assignment but here's the issue um there is an issue demo here so i can look at this issue and i can be here oh it's, it's associated with these let's look at the issue and these lines are wonky and then we can do a back and forth i'll be like i think it's okay you know and so let's comment that back um and i hope I did that by Zaman. Oh, I did that by Zaman scam because that was the account that I went out through here. So that's okay. So let's close that up. And there's a new message. And I got that. I think those are okay. Um, and I should have gotten an email on this too, but I didn't. Maybe I didn't send it from Zaman. Maybe I, I should have done it in the private window. Um, so let's do another issue here. Let's um, go back to here and let's go with issues. And um, let's just open one the traditional way. And this is some feedback. And there can be some more feedback here. And I, what I can do is I can even drag, I can use markdown in here. Um, I can drag, you know, if I put like, this is a regular markdown. So if I do that and I preview it, I get that. I can also, um, you know, put check boxes in here. I think we do that by going like one, two, three, and that'll render, or maybe not. Okay, maybe it's just closed. Again, I haven't done this in a while. So I'm not gonna stress about that. Whatever, okay, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna stress on that. Um, maybe I have to put them in a list, I don't know. Um, ah, there we go. Um, I can drag and drop images, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I can add labels to this. Um, there are also ways of adding custom labels, um, and I, so I can make a custom label for the types of things that are, that are going to be for this. Um, but I'm going to submit this issue, and once again, I get this message. 
uh, you know, I get this issue over here. Now I can come back to my repo. I can look at it on my repo. And because of the account stuff here, I'm going to um, reload it. I'm not going to do anything in that window there because I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want the account issue to be messed up. But I can look at my issues here and I can look at some feedback. And I, you know, I can actually check these if I want. Um, and it says this will be history visible to collaborators. Um, let me actually, I'm not gonna get rid of that right now. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I could put a response in here. So I could say, um, I still think it's okay. And now I've got this, but I can even reply to this. All right, it's okay. So I'll reply to this. And at some point I should get a message for here. Let me get rid of this one. This one. Not sure why I didn't get the email for that one. Um, but it is indeed, you know, if I reload this, uh, got it. Okay. Um, and the issue will now, didn't I send that issue? I thought I sent that issue. Let's try that again. Reply. All right. All right, okay. So I guess I'll, I'll get the other one shortly as, at some point. Um, you know, I'll get two all rights. But, but basically, what I like about this, you know, and I should be more patient with the emails, what I like about this, and let's actually come back to the repo over here. Notice that it's checked here as well. Um, and if I go back to the issues, it says one of three. So, you know, I can have this conversation, and because we're watching the repos, I can basically do things, you know, I can, I can start a thread of conversation with my student. I can be like, I can comment on his code. We can go back and forth um, and have this conversation and it'll all be tracked here. And then when we're done with this, you know, one or the other one of us, we can close the issue. You know, like it's all done, close the issue and, that, and you can reopen it, but very clean, very simple. Now, what we can also do with this is I'm going to go to the assignment here, and I'm just going to get rid of this one. Um, and if I get rid of the assignment, it should, I believe, yes, it gets rid of the whole thing. And we'll come here and get rid of the whole thing here because we don't really need it anymore, and that, that's fine. Um, but what I want to show here is we can also do other, we can also just do this without assignments. So if I go to that, um, what did I call that? I just called it issue demo. Whoops, it's actually Zamansky issue demo. And that's this other repo that I made. So um, So Zemanski issue demo, and I'm watching it here as Zemanski because I created it, and and it just has you know this just has some code in it. It's yeah, not a big. It's just this this for example, this could very well be a page like this for your entire course. And so over here, I'm now going to watch this. And so now Zemansk M is watching it and Zemansky is watching it, the person who wrote it. And in fact, I can tell my entire class to watch this and then I can use issues for things like assignments. So I can be like, um, and actually I can make a new label. I can make a new label called homework, let's say, or I can make a new label called project. And then I can make another new label named homework. I can do that right by actually creating the label. Okay, so now if I go to issues, I can be like, oh, well, let's make a new assignment. Let's make a new project. So this is going to be project one. And, you know, here's the info on project one. Now, I probably wouldn't do this for a project um, because I do a GitHub classroom assignment for projects. But what I actually do for homeworks 
is I make one assignment for all the homeworks, so it's one repo per student for all their homeworks, and I have them submit all of their assignments. I just have them add a new new directory or a new folder in that assignment. So actually, I'd be more likely to do this, you know, this is, you know, homework 10, and this is like, uh, you know, homework 10, you know, uh, due date, uh, and what to do, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I should have the, the homework label. There we go. And now this is labeled as a homework label. And now I sent out homework 10. And if we show these, uh, well, that one is closed, and let's go back to here. That was from um, the closing before. Oh, homework 10. Here's homework 10. So the student, because they're watching it, get it as an email, but they also have this thread. And so if they go, you know, if they go to the demo, this here, they'll see homework 10, etc. And so you could make one issue per homework, and then you can have a thread for a conversation about it, or you can make one issue for all the homeworks and just add a new message for each homework. But what I really like is they can go to the website associated with the repo and see everything that's, you know, all of the threads. Or they can also just respond to their email. Reply to email does the same thing. So this is basically how you can use issues as a way to communicate with your class. Um, I think it's a really cool GitHub feature. Um, you, could also, um, you can also do the exact same thing with pull requests. Uh, with pull requests, if you're not familiar with them, that's how you can actually send code into or send to a change into a repo. So for example, if you wanted to suggest specific code for your students to put into their project, you could do that with a pull request, but that's a more advanced feature. All right, so that's issues with GitHub. Um, I hope it made sense. And um, you know, um, I encourage you to try this with GitHub Classroom and independently with your classes. All right, take care.